Hoy somos bendecidos en presentarles la profunda reunión titulada Una maestra de incógnito, parte 6 de 6, en Entre Maestra y Discípulos, impartido en inglés el 12 de mayo de 2000 en Yeondong, Corea. Peace for Ukraine or Ukraine. They told me of the police well, in front of the hotel. So I had to go and I check into another hotel. But then later, I, they seemed to know us. You know, they follow me everywhere. <laughs> so I just check in, pay the money, went out in a taxi. Five minutes later, I returned with the same taxi and took all the luxuries and ran out. I didn't even sleep in that hotel. And then I had to run to, and uh, went out of the country right away because I seemed to send some police around at that time. So we went to the airport. But at the same airport, they didn't let me out. Yeah. So I had to use some of the wisdom, female wisdom tricks, and then ask if there was another airport or not. And then one of them told me, <laughs> yeah, about another international airport, bigger. Then I ran over there and booked a ticket to Italy. <laughs> not to South Africa. If I went from there to Africa, at that time it's shorter. I already had a ticket. All of us had tickets, three of us. But I had to change my course. I had to pay more. I had to travel like more than 12 hours instead of only four hours because I had to go on a different road. I had to go to the next valuable flight. We stay all night in the airport. We couldn't sleep. We had to hide everywhere. Yeah almost sitting in the bathroom all the time, or in the coffee shop with the head down, and drinking the same coffee again and again and again. <laughs> Couldn't talk to anyone. We had to sit separately even, separately, so that they didn't look for three people. You know, separately. Yeah, so we were just waiting, and the time seemed to be so long, so long, so long. Yeah, you don't know. One of, one of our... Uh, Initiates to be, yeah? it was just convenient method, but she helped us so much that the, the, the police took her in and fed her with water, drowned her in the bathroom and all that. She don't know. You don't know what they still do in the 21st century. Even just a disciple to be. And then she still kept coming back helping us. That was why they, they jailed her three times. And, 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 you know, interrogated and tortured her like that. It was terrible. So I didn't want to continue with the lecture there because that might make trouble for many people. I just had to run. <laughs> and then two of our uh, messengers were stuck there because they couldn't go. They knew them. They couldn't go to the airport. So I had to call them, you know, everywhere and tell them what to do to get out of that country, two of them. I said, you leave immediately. Go where, 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 do what, what? Go to which country? He said, no, we have tickets to go there. I said, don't be silly, buy another ticket. <laughs> you know, they, they just didn't think. They were hanging around, didn't know what to do, so I had to tell them, you go buy another ticket, go to which country? Whichever country you have a free visa, just go right away. Because it's not easy, you know, one is a Taiwanese, he cannot go to just any country. He had visa problem. Even I want to get them out, it's not that easy. So I had to rack my brain to tell him where to go. Then get to the next flight, and then they, they, they both went out. That's just the story. Such a beautiful country that you like so much. All together I stay in there, maybe just so. I stay in a hotel like uh, 10 minutes. <laughs> Just enough to wash my face to go to the bathroom, blah, blah. And then we went out. 
and then return back in immediately, not even sightseeing. Return with the same car. Yeah, the good driver. He spoke some English. It was good. So uh, I got out of the, the, the hotel right away. I explained nothing. I just said, we have to move. We didn't even unpack. We just left it, took the luggage and went. I was prepared to leave the luggage there too. <laughs> some of my important documents were in there. So we had to go back. And the attendance documents. Most of my things I keep with me. It's simple and quick. See, that's why sometimes taking more people is not advantageous for me. Even though it's good for me, you know, they take care of my luggage because sometimes they're very heavy. If you open my luggage, everything is about work. <laughs> it's nothing for me at all in there, but it's heavy. Everything is about work. An adapter for the telephone, <laughs> you know, and some emergency things, a switch knife and all that for emergency working. Sometimes I have to cut this and that, do this and that. Um, all the, you know, <laughs> all the things that for work. Yeah. In case I don't see the, uh, the people here, I can go on stage without having to call anybody and let them know where I live. Most of the time when I go anywhere, they don't know where I live. You don't know where I live, right? No. Maybe if anybody knows, just one person. And sometimes I don't even let them go to my hotel. I make an appointment in some restaurant nearby. Yeah. And send somebody to pick up the luggage so they don't even know where I stay. It's better. If they don't know, they can tell lies. <laughs> they don't have to say things if they don't know. Yeah? So I have to go under uh, different circumstances uh, in order to be with you or to do something that you demand. So please understand if it's not the way you want all the time, or not the country that you want, and not the time that you want, and I don't appear the way you want. Yeah? Even uh, the Guan messenger, he was not clever enough, he couldn't get out. So I had to call him from abroad and tell him what to do. And both of them got out in no time. But until they were out, I say, as soon as you have a ticket, you call me. And then as soon as you land, call me again. Land in another country. Means I know they're safe. I come in, so we were always waiting. <laughs> it was a very long, long time while we were waiting. I knew they could go, but I was afraid their ego could trick them uh, doing something else and not listening to what I say. You see what I mean? Or in any different circumstance, they, they thought they knew better, and then they'd be in trouble. Yeah. So I had to follow them step, uh, every step. So if I don't appear the way you want, I don't mind, huh? As long as I'm here, it's the same person inside, okay? Yes. Blonde or brunette, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I went through Taiwan custom, nobody knew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I had to also hide behind another, you know, one attendant, I hid behind him. <laughs> Busy. Busy doing something. <laughs> if I talk to them directly, they would recognize. Yeah, hair or not. <laughs> but it's good. Like this is quicker. You know, I don't like steer up too much attention and too much alert. You know. Ah, <sighs> yeah, it's like spy story, huh? Yes. It's just one of those stories that I tell you. There are many more. The twenty-first century still treat a uh, spiritual practitioner that way. Can you imagine why they crucified Jesus, huh? Yes. Now you know it's possible, huh? Yes. It's not just a story, it's really true. Now they still do that. You know, they put her head in water. <sighs> it's terrible. Oh my God, I couldn't bear it for many days, many weeks when I heard that. Of course I know everything is an illusion, but the way, you know, Humans treat each other, it's really disturbing to me. And the way people had to suffer, as if I had to suffer. It was incredible for me. I couldn't forget it for a long time. Oh, yeah, I talk too much, huh? Oh my God! <laughs> you should go to eat! <laughs> huh? Okay, go eat now. No, what do you mean, no? <laughs> i see you later. Huh? i see you later. Okay. Mm. 
of this country. It's supposed to be a safe country already, you know? It's not restricted to bad politics or anything. It's still like that. People can be very extreme, extremely fanatic about religion. What they don't understand, they crucify it. Okay, so now you understand me a little better, the way I look, why I do this and that, why I can't go here, go there, why I can't do what you want, and I, can, I cannot do the way you think you want, because uh, you think in a very innocent way. You're pure and simple and very uh, uh, good in your heart, very holy in your heart. You cannot think of other human beings that are not that good, not that holy. Yeah? Sometimes they can be very cruel in their blindness. So in order to continue serving you, I and the chronic messengers, you know, <laughs> have to do the way I think is best. Okay? Yeah. Even though it might not suit you, because you don't think, you cannot imagine anything. It's good so. You're secure, you're happy, you're peaceful, because the Master protects you. Yeah? <laughs> The shoulders protect the citizens. The citizens feel safe and secure, but the shoulder cannot be safe and secure. Understand this? I am the shoulder. I'm your shoulder. So it's a different feeling, thinking, and doing things. Yeah? yeah. Because you love peace and, 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 and nonviolence, you can't accuse the shoulder who has to do different than what you do. In order to have peace for you, he has to do the things that are not peaceful sometimes, not the way you think. Yeah, I don't do that extreme stuff, but many things I do, perhaps you don't understand. Anyway, everything I do is good, believe me. Nothing but goodness, okay? Nothing but good intentions and love. See you. <laughs> See you later. Thanks for your love and understanding. You can consider it if you want, huh? Okay.